video, I'm going to show you how to revert back to the old Tesseract theme. As you can see here, I have two themes. One is 2.5.5 and the other one is 2.7 right there. And maybe yours says 2.7.1. If you have a new theme and it's creating issues because you added a lot of the older codes and stuff on your site, we will address these issues and if you're getting this email or getting this video then here's how to revert back while we try to address your issue so what you want to do if you have two like this you want to delete both of them so let's go ahead and just delete these and the way you do it is just activate any other uh, theme first this is not going to get rid of any of your content this is just the theme and your content stays on your web hosting server so let's go ahead and activate right here the the uh, old theme and once this is active now we could just delete any of the older themes and then you could go ahead and upload a theme I uh, we're giving you so let's delete this one and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one now you may only have one theme and that's fine and and this may also happen and you may have to go to your FTP to do that that's why I, I'm showing you this video so let's try that again and it didn't do it so let's go ahead and go into your FTP or your control panel and let's manually delete this one right here so this is the control panel that I have here because I use HostGator and it doesn't mean that you have to use HostGator to get into this. A lot of companies, they give you a control panel. In the control panel, you're going to see something that says File Manager. Click on that. So you're going to see all your files. And depending on the type of uh, server or hosting solution you have, you may have to click on Web or something else. But for me, we have to click on Public HTML. And then we have to find this um, folder that it's in. So that it's in Jake2. That's what this is in. So that's the folder I'm going to pick. And then I go into here. And I go in and go to content. And then I go to themes. And then I can now see that we have the Tesseract. And I'm going to delete this one right here by right clicking and pressing delete there you go now let's go back to the actual this page right here and refresh it and it's gone so again what I did is I went into the control panel went into file manager and I went into the specific location of that and it really depends we have all these other tests right here but I'm gonna go into Jake 2 because that's the sub folder as you can see up here it says Jake 2 and then I'm going to go into WP content then themes and this is where all the themes are stored right here so that's how I could delete it manually for some reason it wasn't deleting it and now I deleted it manually so that's why I wanted to show you both of those how to delete it now that we deleted this the theme now we're going to go ahead and add the theme that I just give you the older version so here's that download link that we gave you to download the older version as you can see it says version 2 underscore 5.5 so it's version 5.5 what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy and paste that link or just click on it and download this link by putting it in your browser before you do that what I would do is go into your downloads area and if you already have things that say tesseract or something like that you want to put them in a different folder an older version folder because here's what happens if you download this right here you could press enter and what it's going to do it's going to download it but then it's going to make tesseract 3 just like that and you just want it to say tesseract and you want the zip file but you don't want to upload this one you want to upload the recent one which just came which is this one so either we have to rename this or we have to put all these other ones in a different directory and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put all these other ones and I'm gonna say old themes and I'm gonna put all these other ones in a different directory and this is just for anyone who has other stuff on their download area just so it's clean so let's go ahead and download this again and there you go 
and now you'll notice that's the one right there I just don't want it to get mixed up with this one have you download it again that's all that's why we cleaned up the downloads area so this is the one that we download and we're going to use that one right now to put inside your site so now that we clean this up now I'm going to go ahead and add new so now that we have that file add new upload theme choose file and there it is it's in the download so you may have to navigate towards the downloads area and it's this one not the old theme and this is why I made a new folder there this one right here and then install now activate and there you go and it'll still say you know uh, new versions available don't update yet because you have other code and will help you look into that for you but in the meantime this is a way to revert back and help you out so I just went over how to rev you know revert back how to delete your themes how to delete your themes in your control panel if you can't do it on the site and um, how to activate some other themes so go back in the video and really pay attention if you have more questions we could still help you but that pretty much answers how to upgrade re uh, go back and revert to the older themes I hope this video helps you